This video will cover general cleaning of all labware. This is the first step of the cleaning process. Make sure the area around the sink is clean and organized prior to starting. Check to ensure that all cleaning solutions are fresh and that sufficient reagent water is available for the final rinse. Remove all markings, tape, etc. from the container prior to cleaning. Scrape off thick deposits, dirt, adhesive, etc. with a knife scoop or razor blade. Use a wipe or towel soaked in acetone or ethanol to remove ink. Empty contents from all bottles or glassware and flush with tap water. Remove any sediment or other visible material from the bottom. Completely immerse the object in a working 2% detergent solution. Remove air bubbles to ensure total contact between surfaces and solution. Larger objects may be cleaned by applying a detergent solution from a squeeze bottle and using a brush. Almost all labware that goes through a detergent cleaning step can be cleaned by soaking for 1 to 24 hours. Avoid longer soaking times, as it may cause etching, removal of painted markings, and formation of detergent residues. If large objects are not cleaned using a detergent solution from a squeeze bottle, they can be filled to the brim with the 2% Citronox solution and left to soak on the countertop. Rinse object immediately and thoroughly after removal from detergent solution using warm tap water. Proceed to acid rinsing only if necessary. The only pieces of glassware that should be routinely acid rinsed are the 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks. Anything made out of plastic should go through the acid rinsing step, including caps. For all other glassware, proceed directly to the distilled deionized water rinse. Acid rinsing should not be used for containers which will be used for chloride determinations. For bottles to be used for chloride determinations, immediately proceed to the distilled, deionized water rinse. Final rinsing is accomplished with distilled deionized water. Rinse glassware with distilled deionized water at least four times immediately after the tap water rinse. Clean glassware is indicated when water drains uniformly in a thin film from the surface. Water droplets indicate glassware is not completely cleaned and must be rewashed. It is not necessary to completely fill a container with distilled deionized water, but rather filling to 10% capacity, shake, and then empty. Clean labware can be air dried by inverting on a rack or other clean surface so that the water may drain and air will circulate. Return clean and dried labware to the appropriate storage location. Do not leave dry glassware in a drying area indefinitely. 